Okay, before we start this um, story problem packet, you need to understand what profit is. Let's say I'm running a business. I'm carving wood. I'm making wooden objects. Let's say I sell my wooden objects, and I sell everything for $10,000. But let's say it costs me $2,000 to get all the supplies and to make everything. The profit is what I sell minus the cost. So what's 10000 minus 2000 It's 8000 That's your profit. Okay? Sell. Cost. Say I'm making something else. And my, at the end of the day, I, got, I collect $7,000. But it cost me 3000 just to make it. What's my profit? It's the revenue minus the expenses, so that's 4000 Okay, now let's get started. A spirit club is selling shirts to raise money. $10 is spent on each shirt, and $3 is spent on the printing for each shirt. The club plans to sell the shirts for $15 each. How many shirts will need to be sold to make a profit of $400? So I'm going to need to know my units. It says DV, so I don't really need this. And I know I want to set up a ratio if it's DV. Okay, the units are dollars and shirts. Shirts is X, dollars is Y. So dollars per shirt. Now, here's the problem. $10 is on every shirt. $3 is on each shirt. And then $15 is for each shirt. So I got all these different numbers for each shirt. Well, here's how you combine them. What are you selling them for? You're selling them for $15. You need to subtract these expenses. So minus 10, minus 3. And that's going to be 2. So $2 per shirt is how much money I really make. Okay. Now cross all those out. 10, 3, and 15. And there's really no money amount that comes before 10. That's because there is none. Okay, so that's why it's a DV. Now, make your ratio. You're going to put your Y on top, your X on bottom. Y on top, X on bottom. Now, $2 per shirt, what that means is it's $2 for one shirt. Okay? And I want to make $400. I want to know how many shirts. So, X. So, I cross multiply. 1 times 400 is 400. Divided by 2 is 200. So the shirts I got to sell to hit my profits, 200. Okay, a company makes and sells creepy bobblehead dolls. They spend $200 for the paint supplies. They also spend $4 per bobblehead on the ceramic. They're going to sell the bobbleheads for $10.50 each. How many bobbleheads need to be sold to raise $300? So I need to do my units. It doesn't say DV, so I want to make the line here. And then I'm going to write an, an equation. Okay. So what do I have underlined? I've got the bobbleheads. And I've got the money. The X would be the bobbleheads. The Y would be the money. So per dollars per bobblehead. Okay, $200 is not per bobblehead, but $4 is... And 1050 is, but no, you don't make two lines here because it's all combined into one. What are you selling them for? Minus the four is the expenses. That's what you had to spend for the ceramic. So 650. So 650 per bobblehead. Now get rid of the four and the, and the 1050. There's a reason you have to use a line here. My M is 650. And then before all that stuff, I see $200. But here's the thing, man. The $200 is an expense. I had to pay it. The $650 is how much I made. So that's made, and that's an expense. So since they're kind of different categories, I need to make a negative here. Okay? Because that's an expense. So I've got negative 200 plus 6.50x. And I want my profit to be $300. Okay, just put Y, but then we want to put 300 in for Y. 
So box him up. It's negative 200, so you got to add it. So 6.50x, that's 500. So x and whatever 500 divided by 650 is, I need a calculator. I come up with about 77, so I need to sell 77. Okay, let's move on. Concession stand is selling pork burgers at football games. The supplies used to make the burgers, like the grill, cost $100. Also costs a concession stand at $100.50 to make each pork burger. The pork burgers are sold for $3 each. How many pork burgers need to be sold to raise at least $500? So I need to know my units. It doesn't say DV, so I'm going to need my line. And then I need to write it up a full equation. So I, so I got the pork burgers in the dollars. X would be the pork burgers. Y is the dollars. So dollars per pork burger. Dollars per pork burger, $100 is not every pork burger. It has no business here. Dollar fifty is for every, each pork burger, and then the $3 is for each pork burger. So one of them's an expense, the other is how much I make. So I'm going to be selling them for three minus the dollar fifty. That's a dollar fifty. Okay, so we cross those out. And my M is a dollar fifty. How much money did you have before this stuff? You had a hundred dollars. Now again, the hundreds a negative up because it has to be because this is money I made, and this is not made. That's an expense I had to pay. So I need to differentiate the two by making the hundred negative. So negative one hundred plus 1.50x and y. Put your $500 in for y. So I add 100 because I really have to make 600. Divide by 150. 600 divided by 150 is 400. So you're going to get pretty big answers here. Okay, concession stand sells popcorn to raise money. The cost for the equipment is $300. Each bag of popcorn also costs $1.50 to bring into the concession stand. The stand plans to sell the popcorn for $2 each. How many bags of popcorn need to be sold to raise at least $600? We need the units. It's not direct variation, so it's a line will be needed. Then an equation. So I've got the bag of popcorn, the money, I represent that with X and that with Y. So per, dollars per bag. $300 is not per bag, it doesn't belong here. Each bag is 150, so 150 is every bag. And then they sell it $2 each, so that's for every bag. And $600 is what I put in the equation. So, one of this is an expense. This is money made. So I take the two minus a dollar fifty, and that's fifty cents. So I'm really making fifty cents per bag. So I know my M is fifty cents, zero point fifty. Don't just put fifty. Now before these happened we got to talk about the $300 cost. Again, I'm running the business. This is how much I made. And that's a cost. So since they're different categories, we need to make that negative. Because we need to differentiate the two. So negative 300 plus 0.50x equals y. And then I insert the $600 in for the y variable. So I plus 300, plus 300, 
So 0 0.50 times x equals 1800, or 900, sorry, 900. And then I divide by 0 0.50. And that's going to be 1800. Okay, it's really all I have to say on that. That's how profit works. You're going to have some negatives in there.